When I tell you that we are on the verge of a recession. But you gotta be brave enough to step into the ring. Put your guard up and fight back. I made 10 door dashes in the last two hours. And guess how much I made? Guess, guess. After gas? I made a whopping twenty-four seventy-six. Not even a full twenty-five dollars. Like I can't even get my own food door dashed for twenty-five dollars. Okay. When I moved to Cali from Texas last year, I really thought that I was going to be living my California dream. I got my full-time job. I got health insurance, benefits, all of that stuff. All of the things that I thought that I needed to live a comfortable life. And it just feels like I can never make ends meet. Like I'm literally clocking into my five to nine after my nine to five. And... Hold on, girl. I got to order. And I'm just so frustrated because I feel like I've done everything right. Like I went to school, I got my degree, I got a job, but like with rent and bills and student loans and groceries and gas, like it just feels like I just cannot get ahead. And it's like these billionaires, billionaires who have never had to lug five Big Mac meals with drinks up three flights of stairs it feels like like they are making money hand over fist something has got to give and i feel like it needs to be them because i am tired all right the billionaires need to start opening their pocketbooks because i can't afford to keep on opening mine When I tell you that we are on the verge of a recession, the other day I thought that I would do DoorDash to make some extra money. And when I tell you there was no orders coming in, I literally sat there for hours and maybe one order would come in every hour and it would always be a low pay order. Mind you, in 2020, I was in grad school and I literally lived off of DoorDash. I paid my bills with DoorDash everything with DoorDash like and I would decline orders after orders because I knew a higher pay order would come in right afterwards like but people literally are not ordering DoorDash like people cannot afford to order DoorDash in this economy so the next day I was like okay bet I'll try Uber Eats and it was the same thing and I just saw the other day an article about how McDonald's is having trouble making sales right now because People can't afford to buy their meals anymore and they came out with a value meal for five dollars but they're like we can't keep selling this because we can't we're just not gonna make enough profit off of it the cost of housing has skyrocketed like we are going somewhere that I'm very very afraid of I am genuinely frustrated because I feel like I cannot get ahead in life and I don't know what to do to get ahead in life. I work for a negative $2 an hour it feels like because if you make anything less than $20 you might as well make a dollar an hour in this economy. And in no way shape or form am I ever going to get ahead working the little bitty retail jobs that I work now you feel me but what is out there for people who have no path. What's out there for us? What is out there for people who don't necessarily have a path with what they want to do with their life, but they don't want to live miserably either? What is out there? I tried job hunting this morning and I almost had a mental breakdown because I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what I can do. I don't know. I feel all of this pressure to get a big girl job or an adult job or whatever you want to call it so that maybe, just maybe, I might be able to keep my head above water, but I don't know what to do. Nothing interests me. So it's like, where do I go from here? I don't know. And that's the, that's the, that's the point. I don't fucking know. I don't know.
Did y'all see this? That the uh, co-founder of LinkedIn predicts that the traditional nine to five jobs will be extinct by 2034. Let's talk about that. What y'all think he mean by extinct? Are we talking about like just the, the traditional Monday through Friday, nine to five, or are we, we thinking it's gonna be nine to 12, Monday through Wednesday, Monday through Thursday? Like, or do y'all think he think that like we'll no longer have any jobs due to, let's say, robots and AI and things like that. And before we get too deep into this, I, I'm not being fearful or anything like that. I, I don't worry about nothing I can't control. This is really just all for conversation. I like to, you know, talk about these type of subjects and get other people's opinions and perspectives. I think that's very interesting the way that different people think differently about, you know, the same situation. But just thinking about it though, like a lot of companies have shut down. A lot of companies have started letting a lot of people go over the past two, three years. So. I mean, and that's only 10 years from now. It's not a long time if you think about it. So y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below.